Cinnamon Takzo here and welcome to another What The Facts video. How's it going guys? This is Shinman Takzo and welcome back. We're gonna talk about Oracle. Okay, so why should we use Oracle again? Yeah, because we want to be that guy. Oracle is a Mobile Legends defense item that gives you an additional 850 HP, 36 magic resistance, 35 HP regen, and 10% cooldown reduction. It has everything, doesn't it? And, and what you just saw earlier is the peak or the highlight of what Oracle's passive can do for you. Oracle's passive is called Scream. If you get attacked by any sort of attack, like basic attacks, spells, battle spells, everything that does damage, you name it. Your hero will regenerate 4% of its max HP over 4 seconds and this passive can be triggered every 8 seconds. So um, so yeah, what's so special about this passive? Okay, focus on this for 1 minute. Every time you take damage, you get 4% of your max HP regardless of how much damage you took. What if you only took like 1 hit from a jungle monster and then moved away? How much damage did that monster do to you and how much did you heal back in return? So what I'm trying to say is, if the enemy can damage you for more than 4% of your maximum HP within 4 seconds, you gain more HP back because they triggered Oracle's passive. It's like they were trying to kill you, but they did the opposite. They should be reported for healing you. So you see, you can take advantage of this to heal up in lane by having a minion or a jungle monster hit you once every 8 seconds. So better make sure you thank them for that. And this item is perfect for tanks because the passive's effectiveness relies on having high HP. The more maximum HP you have, the greater the heal effect of that 4% will be. Let's say you have Grok with 10,000 maximum HP, you get healed for 400 HP. And if you have Saber who has 4,000 max HP, you only get healed for 160. So I don't recommend using this on non-tank heroes. Fighters that build up HP items can use this like Hilda, Akai, or Bane. Oops, wrong picture. There you go. You're never gonna get reworked, aren't you? And maybe mages like Alice or Kagura who likes to get into the team fight can use this so that, you know, it gives them additional tankiness. Okay, so uh, talking about team fights, is it useful in team fights? A big yes. Because even though Oracle can only work every 8 seconds, team fights can last longer than that and as long as you're getting hit by enemies, you're taking advantage of this passive. You get healed every 8 seconds in that team fight and all of those 4% HPs add up, making you tank more hits and survive longer. Pair this up with Bloodthirsty King and enjoy bigger heals from both the item passives and the max HP increase. Now when should you be getting Oracle? You could actually get this as early as a second or third item since the passive, even though you're, you're still low on max HP early game, it's still a free heal no matter how small it is. And if that doesn't convince you to get this early game, then the nice additional HP, magic resist, regen, the 10% cooldown reduction in one item should seal the deal. Just slowly build up defense items with HP before or after getting Oracle and you should be all set 
throughout the game. That's about it for this item I believe and uh, tell everyone what you think about this item and which hero you use it on in the comment section below. And as always, feel free to ask me or our community about stuff that you might be confused with so that we can all help out each other. And again, my name is Shinman Takizo and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.